The Russian Defense Ministry has stepped up mechanized attacks by Putin's army on Ukrainian forces' positions in Kursk region. These attacks are causing major losses on the part of the Russian armed forces, but Putin is not going to stop there. Forbes reports, in Kursk region, three brigades of the Ukrainian armed forces are fighting against the armies of Putin and Kim from two sides at once. It is an apocalyptic battle that costs the Russians and possibly the North Koreans dozens of vehicles and hundreds of lives. The Ukrainian Center for Defense Strategies stated that the enemy has regrouped its forces in the Kursk direction. Initially, Putin gave orders to his army to drive Ukrainian forces out of Kursk region before October the 1st. During the counterattacks, Putin's army managed to regain control of almost 50% of the previously lost territories. On the eve of possible negotiations with Ukraine, Putin wants to regain control of the entire Kursk region. To achieve this goal, he is ready to throw more and more forces into the battle. If a demilitarized line is created, the Kremlin will lose part of its land. It is against the backdrop of such statements from Trump's team that Putin is throwing more and more forces into the battle. Not long ago, 40 new BTR-82s were delivered straight from the factory. Since November the 7th, the 810th and the 155th Brigades have begun a new series of counterattacks in Kursk. They are opposed by Ukrainian forces including the 95th, 47th and 17th Brigades. They are the ones who destroy the BTR-82s with infantry as quickly as the 810th Brigade can send them to slaughter. After a quick analysis, analysts were able to count at least three BTR-82 cemeteries in the Pogrebki area. However, some enemy armored vehicles managed to break through minefields and drones. In this section of the front, the 810th Brigade includes not only Russians and North Koreans, but also Africans and Cubans. Recall Russia is training mercenaries from Africa and Cuba in Crimea for the war in Ukraine. The occupiers are using children from the Unamia Youth Movement to protect them from Ukrainian armed forces strikes, reports the telegram channel of the partisan movement, Atesh. During ongoing reconnaissance, agents of Atesh discovered that at the Kozachi training ground in the Gagarinsky district of Sevastopol, Russian military forces are training mercenaries from African countries and Cuba the report says. According to partisans, the training ground belongs to the 810th Marine Brigade. Military trucks are periodically seen arriving at the training ground, bringing people with appearances that are unusual for local residents, reports Atesh. Moreover, shooting exercises for teenagers with the Unamia youth movement are occasionally held at the same training ground. The Russians are using children as human shields, attempting to protect their soldiers and mercenaries from strikes by Ukraine's defense forces, the partisans added. An Iranian-made Shahid drone belonging to the Russian army crashed into a residential building in Belgorod region on November 5. Images of the drone hitting the building and the moment of the explosion were spread on Telegram channels. It should be noted that there was a massive drone attack on the territory of Ukraine on November 5. Following the attack, one of the drones returned to Russian territory. The Ukrainian side reported that it was the same drone that crashed into the residential building. One person was injured as a result of the incident. Awesome. Defense Intelligence of Ukraine has reported that a Russian Army Mi-24 attack helicopter has been destroyed by fire in Moscow Oblast. A Russian Mi-24 attack helicopter was destroyed on the night of 9 to 10 November 2024 at the Klin-5 airfield in Moscow Oblast, Defense Intelligence of Ukraine said. 
It is reported that the burnt helicopter belonged to the 92nd Special Purpose Instructor and Research Helicopter Squadron of the 344th Center for Combat Use and Retraining of Flight Personnel of the Russian Armed Forces. Defense Intelligence of Ukraine reiterates that the occupier will be punished fairly for every war crime committed against Ukraine, the statement said. The video release included a message from the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine, for every war crime committed against Ukraine, the occupier will face just punishment. The Mi-24 helicopter, valued at approximately $12.5 million according to open-source estimates, is a unique model, combining the roles of an armored gunship and a troop carrier, with the capacity to transport up to eight passengers. Developed by Mil Moscow Helicopter Plant, it has served since 1972 and remains in use in 58 countries today. Known for its high speed, the Mi-24's wings contribute significant lift, enabling faster speeds than other helicopters of its class. A modified Mi-24B variant, named the A-10, was also used in speed and time-to-climb record.